Luke, what did you make of that? Well, I'm really, really happy. I'm really happy with the performance of the players and uh, the opposition are just ridiculously good. I'm really like could have been out of sight at half time, but um, the keeper made some brilliant saves. He got man of the match for a reason because he kept us in the game and kept it, you know, competitive because of what he done in the first half in particular. And and also the guys in front just throwing their body in front of the ball, but. Derby tore for us a few times because they're so good, so much quality and uh, so much experienced manager and you know and uh, yeah so I'm really really happy because then we stayed in the game when maybe it could have been over and then in the second half I think we caused them a lot of problems and just just the attitude and the application of the players was was brilliant. I'm so happy with them. Yeah, I mean the, 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 the fact that Derby were playing for time at the end really must show how well you were doing at that point of the game. And you know, they, as you said, they are they're not just league above, but they're really good in that league as well. Yeah, they're they're, they're so good when you see them so close like that. You know, you can see the, the quality and uh, yeah, they were they were brilliant. They were brilliant, but we we were able to give them a really tough game in the end. And like I say, I know it could have been. We could have been four four nil down at half time without we couldn't really complain even though we played well but they're just so so much quality and speed and experience everything and of course they're well set up as well so it's you know I've been in that division before and in the championship as well and when you see the guys you recognise when you see the team like that you recognise that level of quality but I'm just so, I'm I'm really delighted like you look at the performance of young players. Um, played so well, concentrate so much, so many threats, so many problems to deal with, and they didn't lose their composure when we had a really tough time. Then look at the performance of Sam Austin. I think Sam, I'm surprised he doesn't leave with them and go because he could play for them no problem. Uh, yeah, I'm really, I'm really pleased. Let's also give a word to Sam Sloak. You mentioned man of the match, but four or five saves in that first half, which which absolutely kept you in the game. Yeah, he was incredible. He threw his body in front of the ball and was just alive to everything. Didn't you know? He didn't he? Sometimes there's a a chance for a goalkeeper that he he knows he he can't really do too much, and they hope that the ball, you know, is not struck cleanly. But even those ones where you think is certainly a goal is is gone in. But he just was so so bright, so, and I think he put them off a couple of times, makes some great saves. And then with the ball was like really, we we actually had another outfield player. We cheated really because we play with eleven outfield players. So uh, I'm uh, I'm really impressed with that. I'm sure he's doing this anyway. But will he be knocking on your door saying he wants no, it to be number one again? Well, I should think so. I should think so, and uh, I can't hide from from him. So um, that's what I want. That's what I want. I want players to go on the pitch when they have a chance, play so good, and then if they feel like they deserve to to play in the next game, they can come and see me. It might be a short conversation, but um, no, I'm so so pleased with so many of them, and I keep saying it, but yeah, I'm really impressed. Uh, first goal in Notts Colors for Gina Marais. So that'll do in the world of good, you think, wouldn't it? Yeah, and he, he, you know, he smashed it like no hesitating or you know try to be safe and in my head I'm saying um, because we had the experience not so long ago with penalties you might remember but um, we had done a lot of preparation and uh, one of the key things is like don't rush when the whistle goes and um, he just he took his time composed himself and then he properly finished it and, and that is that's not easy to do of course I know you're aware of that but you know when a guy has really been desperate to get on the pitch and wants to get off the mark and hit it with that much confidence. Brilliant. Handful of players we haven't seen too much of in, in not shirts. Tipton, Makari, uh, Charlie, get off the bench as well. What do you make of, of those people's performances? I'm happy with them all. I want to say to all the young players, make sure you're ready because you need, when you have a chance, you have to play, be ready 90 minutes and it's difficult. There are there are reasons. It's not say, Let's not say excuses because we train hard. And when you feel like you need to do a bit more, you can do a bit more. So you, 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 when you have a chance to play, you have to be able to play 90, 95, 96 minutes. And, uh, but I'm happy with them. I thought they were all great. I would like Oli to not have cramp at the end, but he done, he done really good. 
Uh, Lewis, superb. Jan Gilly, when he came on, he's really exciting though. He wriggle around with the ball and so much energy and quality. And uh, Lufer, I think, has a massive uh, role to play in the penalty because he's up against two like really very, very good players and he kept wriggling away, retained the ball enough to go inside the box. So yeah, they should be really proud of themselves really. Uh, despite defeat, still in the competition, and I guess that and also the fact that there's no injuries, it doesn't look like at least, ahead of a big game on Saturday means that there's some positives, a lot of positives to come out of tonight as well. Yeah, I think, it. let's be realistic, we, we know we don't quite carry the numbers of players, experienced players, that a club maybe in this moment they'll be able to carry a few more players and the other teams in our group can carry a few more players and... You know, it's easier to rotate and whatever, but we had to try to be sensible as well. So when you consider all the things that we try to do to to be competitive in the game, and also yeah, one eye on a big a big game in 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 the, in the league. So we came through really well. We make a good performance. We we showed the fans it's worth turning up to see us in this competition. Yeah, and uh, now we we we're in a good place going into a big game. Finally, for me, did you have a nice birthday yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, yeah, I had some incredible uh, cards from from the fans. It was really a lovely surprise. So uh, yeah, it was very nice, and I spent with uh, with some great players and and great staff as well. <laughs>